January 2017, as you all know, um, we received the draft of the regulation. There was a leaked version in December. Some changes compared to the leaked version in January. Yes, it became a regulation. It will be applicable in all EU member states <coughs> uh, directly. So there is no need any transposition. This is particular, includes particular rules uh, um, uh, in addition to the GDPR for the sector. Uh, the subject matter of the regulation um, is, is, is fairly similar to the, uh, to the subject matter of the, of, the, of the current directive. Based on Article 7, this is broader than just the protection of personal data. It is actually covers uh, privacy, confidentiality of communication. Um, the personal scope, um, um, the Commission decided, uh, based on the public consultation and, and their own uh, impact assessment, that there is a need to extend the scope, to in addition to traditional telcos, to OTT providers. OTT providers, as you, as we all know, um, the WhatsApp, the Skype, uh, the, the, the voice over IP and, and uh, instant message messaging providers. And it is very important um, to note that any other company who does any of those activities. So, so when we are talking about this is, a, this is a very specific regulation for the telecommunications sector, we need to think about this is really more than that. If any of your companies are covered by any of these activities, then you need to look at what, what, uh, what the new uh, EPVC regulation will include. Um, especially um, important that the, the so-called interpersonal communication services, uh, which, which may be ancillary to another service, for example, this could be certain chat functions in, in an online gaming um, application um, or, or even any other chat functions uh, which, 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 which are um, in connection with the provision of a service, then, then this is also covered by the, uh, by the regulation. Yeah. There were some stakeholders who believed uh, that this shouldn't be included because this is actually not included in the current electronic communication, uh, European electronic communication code. We'll talk about it a bit later. So if you look at the material scope, uh, what, what the data which should be protected, um, the electronic communications data, which is content and metadata. Metadata is in fact the, the, the location and, the, and under the current directive, the location uh, and the traffic data together. And this should, be, this should apply both to natural and legal persons. Plus the information related to the terminal equipment of, of the end user. So cookies and any, od any other information which is emitted from the device. The territorial scope is similar to the GDPR scope, uh, means that um, uh, it's not, not the providers but the, but the end users uh, location what really matters. That means that there are also providers which are not uh, based in the EU will be covered by this regulation. They need to, they need to appoint a representative. The definitions uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the new um, regulation um, will be all which are covered by the GDPR. And also there are further definitions in the regulation itself and also in the European Electronic Communications Code. This is a directive which is being prepared these days. Um, obviously the question is to, uh, how likely it is that it, that it, 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 it will be adopted uh, by the time uh, the, the, the e-privacy should apply. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is not so sure. Uh, but very, very important definitions are covered uh, uh, by, the, uh, by the code. Um, just very briefly um, uh, to remind you of what uh, the new definition of content means and, and the metadata. So practically content means content, so, uh, which, is, which is then exchanged by, the me by means of the, of the services. And metadata, uh, any, any, practically any other data which, which helps to, to transmit, distribute or exchange uh, the content. These are the typical data for the traditional calls, who calls whom, when, the duration of the call and the location of the equipment. Um, obviously, um, at, if you really think about what it means, it's not always easy to, um, to determine whether, whether a certain, certain data is considered metadata or, or, or content. So if, if you think about the URL, um, even, if the, even if the regulation said, um, yes, URL is possibly metadata, or you said this is metadata because it's a visited website, um, if you really think about what is behind the URL, well, this is also reveals something about the content or the subject line of an email, is it really metadata or, or, or is it more, uh, more revealing in relation to the content? So these are the questions which probably still need to be clarified. 